From the Kingdom Hearts 3 epilogue, we can see in the new game that young Ericus shows young Xehanort there are seven darknesses. Since Sora and the other six lights are unlikely to all convert to the dark side, we can assume that these seven darknesses are the seven foretellers. Ira, Envy, Ased, Gula, Ava, Lushu, and the Master of Masters. In Kingdom Hearts' back cover, they all seem to be good guys except for the Master of Masters who is definitely scheming behind the scenes by giving the foretellers roles that would end up colliding with each other. Ira's role was to become the new leader of the foretellers. Ased's role was to take over as leader once he deemed Ira was no longer fit for the task. Gula's role was to find the traitor and to trust no one but himself. He was also given a lost page that wasn't in any of the other foretellers' book of prophecies. Envy's role was to be a mediator and to be Ira's right-hand man. This caused others not to trust Envy because it made it seem like her and Ira were in cahoots with each other. Ava's role was to gather a group of exceptional Keyblade wielders outside of the unions so that Light would live on after the Keyblade War. Lushu's role was to watch over the others from a distance as things unfolded. The Master of Masters role is unknown. It's unknown if he even has a role, but he definitely has a plan. With Lushu in the distance and the Master of Masters gone, the other five foretellers worked to figure out who was the traitor and spent their time trying to stop the Keyblade War from taking place. At first I thought Ava was the only one who couldn't be the traitor. She seemed the most purest of the bunch and worked to make sure that Light lived on. Then I figured Gula couldn't be the traitor because his goal was literally to find who the traitor was. Ased seemed to be the most likely choice since he was the most aggressive and wanted to overthrow Ira and become the new leader. But in the end of the back cover movie, it seemed he was content with Ira being the leader. So of course I assumed Lushu was the traitor since he was the only one doing nothing to try to stop the prophecy from coming true. He watched from afar as all hell broke loose in the age of fairy tales. He told Ava that darkness will prevail and light would expire. But using the epilogue as a reference, I believe that Ava is the traitor. When you think about the word traitor, you assume it's a bad guy. But what if the group is full of bad guys and the one good person out of the group, who is a good guy or girl in this case, tries to ruin their plan? That would make the good person the traitor. Lushu summoned the Foretellers in the epilogue, and although it doesn't seem like the Foretellers would turn to the side of darkness, since they spent their time trying to prevent light from expiring, Lushu may try to convince them otherwise. When the scene ended, it appeared that Lushu was about to tell the other Foretellers his role. We, the audience, may have been left out on a key part of his role, or Lushu slash Zigbar may lie about his role in order to get the other Foretellers to his side. It's also worth noting in the epilogue that Zigbar stated that he completed his role. He also said that Ava had her own mission and she carried it out. So now we're in the scenario where two of the foretellers have completed their roles. So the question now is, what were they supposed to do after completing their roles? It's highly likely that Lushu was given another role or a mission to complete after his role was complete. Ava was the other foreteller missing from the Keyblade graveyard. We don't know why she was missing, Zigbar could have excluded her, or Ava could be planning something else. I talk about in another video that I believe Ava was the friend that Saix and Axel were talking about, the one who they joined Ansem the Wise's research team for. In the secret reports, it states that once Ansem the Wise shut down Xehanort's research, that a man with an eye patch, obviously Zigbar, was the one who came and released this girl from being Xehanort's test subject. I'm sure that Zigbar knew this girl was Ava and instead of releasing her, did something else with her. That may be the reason why Ava wasn't present when he summoned the foretellers. This mysterious girl, Subject X, did not remember anything, not even her name. The only thing she remembered were the words, may your heart be your guiding key. If you want to check out that video, then click the thumbnail on the screen. That's all for this video. If you like the theory and think it has any merit, like the video and subscribe to the channel for more. See you guys in the next one.